Thanks for watching The Creative Underground. I'm Paul Carhart. And it's been a couple weeks since I've put up a new video, and I apologize for that. Um, but we've had my daughter's birthday and my birthday and Mother's Day, which is always a, a thing with us because Melody's mother has not been with us for about four years now. So um, we went and visited my mom. But anyways, um, just thought I'd uh, get another video out there. And a lot of times people ask me what it is that inspires me. Uh, to keep going and to keep working on things and and uh, things that just give me that creative spark that makes me, you know, want to get up in the morning and, and try something new or work on something new or continue working on something that I've been working on for a while uh, or complete something. Um, and for me, I've always been a huge Disney fan. Um, I know that's not a surprise to people that know me, um, but I'm a huge, really big Disney fan. Always wanted to be a, a Disney animator as a kid. As I got older, I wanted to be a Disney Imagineer. Uh, never did either of those things <laughs> um, uh, because I really wanted to be Walt Disney um, as a kid. So um, all the different things that I've done artistically in my life sort of all play into those kinds of areas. Mostly writing, but also uh, the cartooning and even the music. All of it's inspired by Disney. Um, so in the, in the late 80s and early 90s, Disneyland used to do these uh, signings up in, in the Disney Gallery. It was up above the Pirates of the Caribbean at the time. Um, now the gallery is on Main Street where the uh, Bank of America used to be, uh, right next to the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. But um, at the time, they used to do these artist signings where they, they would have different Imagineers come out and sign conceptual artwork for Disneyland. And that was just right up my alley and that was my cup of tea and uh for a long time i went to those signings uh, many 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 weekends um and i bought everything i could buy <laughs> so i have a lot of signed disneyland conceptual artwork signed by a lot of the original imagineers um they're just photographic reproductions. None of them are even lithographs. There's only a handful that I have that are lithographs. Um, but since then, I've had them framed, most of them. And my house is sort of a little bit of a Disney gallery of its own. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of that. Let's see uh, some of these pictures. I'll talk a little about, about them a little bit. And let you know what it is about them that inspire me and who, who were the original artists on them. And whether they're signed or not. Some that I have that are not signed. A, sign, uh, a signature on it doesn't make it a better or worse piece of art, uh, for, for certainly. And most of these that have, were signed for me, in front of me by these people, essentially have two signatures because they were signed once when they were done, and then they were signed again on top of the reproduction. So, um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit and show you some of my Disneyland and Disney signed artwork collection that is housed inside my home slash Disney gallery uh, here where I live. And um, you'll see what I've got in my office, uh, what goes in the stairwell up to my office, the bedroom, the living room, dining room, uh, kitchen, all the different areas that I've got, the different uh, signed Disney artwork. Um, this is not an invitation to come and rob my home, <laughs> but it is uh, one of the things that I use to keep myself inspired. I, I believe that it's important to, um, you know, have an environment, work environment, that's inspiring to you. And especially if you're at home, you've got control over that environment, maybe a little bit more than you would in an office environment. So um, why not dress it in a way that will, you know, inspire you and give you that creative spark. And that's, that's what I've tried to do here with my environment here at the house. Um, you can see the, the uh, actually back here, the Indiana Jones poster on the wall. Um, big Indiana Jones fan. Um, probably my favorite movie of all time is Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, um, yeah, so Star Wars, huge fan. Um, and then I've got, you know, all the Disney animated films, um, even a lot of the Disney live action films like Treasure Island um, and those kind of things are I'm a big fan of. Even the Herbie the Love Bug movies I like. So, um, yeah, let's take a little tour here. Here we go. So starting in the living room, I've got a really old Liberty magazine here. 
March 14, 1942. It features Disney characters. It would have probably been one of Dumbo's first appearances. It has to do with income taxes, which would have also been brand new at the time. Above that, I've got a postcard. It's signed by Sam McKim, um, and I'm very happy to have that. It's of New Orleans Square at Disneyland. Um, I've also got a Collier's Magazine from uh, the 40s as well, um, which features Saludos Amigos. And then I've also got above the couch the stretching portraits uh, by Mark Davis from the Haunted Mansion, uh, uh, used both at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Um, these will never come off the mat because the Mark Davis actually signed the mat on it. So, um, he, he, you know, I'm going to leave it the way it is. But, um, yeah, those are over the couch, very much my, one of my prized possessions. As we go uh, around the living room, um, over the TV I've got a picture by Claude Coates here um, of the mushrooms from Fantasia. And um, next to them is each a small postcard-sized Mickey Mouse short poster, basically a poster for one of the Mickey shorts. And then over here is the Indiana Jones um, and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye uh, attraction poster by Drew Stusen. Drew um, did a lot of the original posters for Star Wars and Indiana Jones uh, movies and also book covers for them as well. So as we move into my dining room here, I've got a poster for um, Disney World. Um, it's the 35th anniversary, I believe, and I believe there are 35 hidden Mickeys in there. Um, and then I've got uh, Beast and Belle by Eric Robison. Uh, he does a lot of character um, art, so I've got a lot of stuff by him. Here's the staircase that we'll go down in a minute that has, it's really the gallery. I've got a pirate map here. Um, I'm not even sure who did this. I've got a couple ideas. Um, it's not signed, but it is one of my favorite pieces. Um, then we're going to go here into the kitchen, which of course, got to have artwork in the kitchen, right? Um, so over here is a, it looks like a uh, Aladdin movie poster, but it's actually a jigsaw puzzle that um, is framed. And then I've got more by Eric Robinson. I've got Nala here, and above that is a matching portrait of Simba. And then um, if you come around to the refrigerator, behind there, <laughs> kind of hidden at this point now, I've stacked things on the fridge, but there's a, another uh, poster, or actually not a poster, but a uh, an image of the princesses by Eric Robinson. And this here is a Tokyo Disney poster from the 80s, framed, not signed. Uh, the Eric Robinson piece is signed. And there's a couple postcards unsigned here of Mickey. Um, but all the unsigned stuff in here is uh, counterbalanced by the signatures of Richard and Robert Sherman, Sherman Brothers, with Walt. Um, they were the ones that did the music for Mary Poppins, Winnie the Pooh, etc. And as I come into the back porch area, I've got this great Eric Robinson uh, image of Donald Duck. Let's see if I can get a better shot of it here, the light on. Um, yeah, here's Donald, signed by Eric Robinson. Um, it's a great piece of Donald. And then around the corner here, we will see one of my other really highly prized possessions. And this is... Uh, the Little Mermaid, done by Wyland, who is the you know famous whale uh, artist, and he did uh, you know the Long Beach uh, Convention Center and various uh, whale murals all around Long Beach or California, probably the world. Anyways, this is a uh, collaboration between um, Wyland and Disney. So Wyland did not paint the Little Mermaid. I'm not sure who did. But it's signed by Wyland. This is actually a numbered piece, and it's a lithograph. Um, from here, we go into the uh, back bathroom, where I've got a Eric Robison flounder. And I've got another really old piece of uh, Disney characters being pirates. And um, that was found at an uh, antique swap meet as well. In the dining room here, I don't have a ton of Disney. Uh, the one wall had some stuff, but I do have these two um, tiki masks, uh, African masks that a friend of mine got for me in South Africa. So here we have the partner's uh, image. It's by John Hench, famed Imagineer John Hench. And um, it was the piece that came out to commemorate the 
the, the partner statue at Disneyland. Um, over here by John Horney, we have the Disneyland uh, um, you know, musicians uh, from New Orleans Square. And up here we have a, I'm not sure who did this piece. I have the paperwork somewhere. Um, but it is a fantastic piece. It's actually one of my favorite pieces that I have. It's very detailed and it's got um, lots of Disney characters at play in Fantasyland, basically. You've got Mickey pulling the sword out. You've got um, Snow White and the Prince on the left there. Dumbo's up at the top. You've got the Peter Pan characters coming in. Uh, Alice in Wonderland characters coming in on the right. Merry-go-round horses. It's just a great piece, and I really like the detail in it. Above that is the fire station on Main Street, but this one is the fire station on Main Street at Euro Disneyland. Um, it's a little different. Then we've got Sam McKim's um, rendition of the Columbia, Sailing Ship Columbia. And uh, below that, I've got um, Ken Anderson's Crips from the Haunted Mansion. And uh, next to that, I then have an image. Um, this is Sam McKim again. With uh, It's also done by Marvin Davis. The outside of the original setup for the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland in California. And then this is a picture of the dragon under the castle at Euro Disney. Um, and down here at the end of this uh, hallway, I've got a, a movie poster for Finding Dory. I actually have an entire collection of Disney movie posters, but I don't have the frames or the wall space for it. So maybe I'll change that out one day. This here is a Ken Anderson piece. Um, it's iconic of this Haunted Mansion, and I, I really value that one. And then there's a attraction poster for the Jungle Cruise with Indiana Jones. This here is a Sleeping Beauty Castle at Euro Disney. It's a very nice piece. Uh, here's uh, Feed the Birds, Mary Poppins. And then this piece is by Herb Ryman. It's the uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland. It's actually signed on the mat by his sister, of all things. Um, he had been passed away at the time they did this. This is the Splash Mountain movie poster. I mean, not movie. Uh, attraction poster artwork. Um, and uh, then after that, up the staircase a little further, I have um, another Eric Robinson of uh, Flower and Thumper from Bambi. And it's a nice piece as well. Um... Then this, you can't see it very well. This is from the Indiana Jones inside the attraction. It's the boulder scene. Indiana Jones is at the top there. It's a This is a signed lithograph. And this other one I really have no other better shot for. Uh, it's the cue for the Indiana Jones attraction. Um, and so I can't see much about it, but um, it's a really nice piece. very detailed. Both of those uh, are at the top of the staircase. And I've got a um, replica of the very first movie poster for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And then I've got, um, so you can see that here, I've got actually a decent shot of that. And um, that's just a replica though. And then this is a, a print from the 80s that was made of an earlier print of Walt Disney with a shadow of Mickey Mouse there. Um, so those are at the top of the staircase that lead up to my office and bedroom. So this is my bedroom now. Here we get to see some interesting stuff. This picture of the Matterhorn is not a Disney piece. Um, it's a picture of the real Matterhorn, not um, not the Disneyland one. But I liked it, and, uh, you know, it has Disney ties to me. Here above the bed, I've got some Disneyland attraction posters. I've got Pirates of the Caribbean with a huge reflection in it. I've got the Haunted Mansion, the Jungle Cruise, and the Disneyland Railroad. Um, none of those are signed. They're just replicas of the attraction posters at a smaller size. Um, there's not much else in my bedroom. Here's my reading chair and my globe and there's some laundry I need to put away. And I do have a shelf over here of all Disney books. All the Disney books that I have are in one place over here. And since this is about what inspires me, that's something that inspires me is all these Disney books. Um, Bunch of them I haven't read, lots of them I have read. I'm working my way through them. Nowadays, there are so many books um, with print-on-demand technology, and there's Walt's People series right there on that shelf. I've got books that are too tall for the 
for the shelves that are up on top. Um, uh, just a treasure trove of Disney history that I, I very much cherish. Um, as we come past uh, the staircase again, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that from the other direction. This is the back side of my office where I'm usually shooting from for this show or this channel. And that's the Indiana Jones poster on the wall. I've got a little TV in here. Here's a bookshelf. It's a microphone that I use for recording when we're uh, recording Third World Sun stuff. So here are a couple pieces from Mark Davis. This is the Jungle Cruise. Mark Davis is one of my favorite Imagineers and animators. Um, this is one just from Pirates of the Caribbean. You probably, if you've been on either of those rides, you recognize these scenes. Um, they pretty much recaptured them exactly the way he did. Here's an attraction poster for the Art of Animation Corner that was in Tomorrowland a long, long time ago. And over here is an Eric Robinson image of Jiminy Cricket. Um, he has a very loose, sketchy style that I like. Below that is Tony Baxter's rendition of Big Thunder Mountain. And then we come over here to John Hench's iconic monorail and submarine shot. Sorry for all the reflections. Um, from there, we move over to Colin Campbell's um, picture of the Tiki Room. Um, Again, there's more reflections. Looks like my computer is on in the background. Um, this is one by Eric Robinson, and it's Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland, um, which is not common for him, but uh, it's great. You can see through through my office, which is the door you usually see through when I'm filming, um, and you can see where the stairwell goes down. Here's um, one more piece I got. I got this piece at Disneyland. It's not a painting. It's just an image of... Uh, um, Cinderella Castle at Walt Disney World and Walt Disney um, and it's basically you know vision is the term on it and it's and it's talking about how he envisioned this thing even though he never did walk it um, lots of reference books here down on the bottom shelf is a, um, a complete set of the Library of Curious and Unusual Facts by Time Life um, here's lots of writing books and then sci-fi and stuff. I've got videotapes in here of things that I've taped and never watched. Um, lots of books that I haven't got to yet. Uh, fantasy mostly. Um, and uh, on the top shelf is some Christian reading. Over here, lots of music books, bands, and things, my favorite bands. More uh, reference books on the bottom there. Here's my drafting table where we've, we've shot some stuff before. Um... And here's a big box of Elvin's Pet Peeve comic strips that I think I featured on an earlier episode that I'm pulling from to scan all these uh, comic strips that I'm putting up every week. So as we look down to the staircase, we can see an old, old flintlock gun. It's a, it's a pistol. It used to be my dad's. The shield, the wood shield there, I actually made in 7th grade wood shop. Hanging at the bottom of that thing, that gun, is a little set of pirate keys that Melody got me one year for either Father's Day or my birthday, I don't remember, uh, from Disneyland. Um, so this is what the um, staircase looks like looking down. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching the Creative Underground, and I look forward to seeing you next time.